Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, teaching rule, will, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect Akim. Teaching and preaching this truth throughout the four ends of the world. Shalom to the elect of Israel, the Bayashah, Dawadah, the house of David. All right, Israel's is so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, including the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigner who looks like the heathen, but their father's line goes back to Israel. All right, this is the brother Karatza of Mena Valley, Las Vegas camp, back with another lesson. Through the willpower and spirit of Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, Lord willing, it be edifying. All right, the title of this one is going to be called A Solemn Assembly, and just talking about the Passover. All right, the Passover is supposed to be a solemn assembly. Solemn meaning serious, sacred, okay? Um, you know, it's not, as the apostles have said, a party Passover or or a lamb and, and wine dinner, okay? Or just a lamb dinner, you know? So, you know... What the Passover is, is a, a festival, a, a feast, a high holy day, you know, in remembrance of our exodus, the Israelite exodus from, from uh, Egypt, okay? That night, all right, which, and it began the exodus, that night judgment was set out. By Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, all right, to kill the firstborn of uh, every uh, man and beast that didn't have the mark upon the door, all right. That that blood, that lamb's blood, you know, upon their door, and judgment was sent out that night, okay. And as we've seen in, in previous Passovers. You know, things start to turn up, and we're waiting on Yahweh to send Yahweh Shai back again, all right, to deliver his people once again, all right, from this captivity in, in uh, America, aka Babylon the Great, as it says in, in the book of Baruch, that we are yet this day in, in our captivity, okay, and this year being deemed by Apostle Tahar. The hopeful year that all prophecies come to pass, all right, we know we're in very serious times according to prophecy. Okay, so this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It says, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to the house, than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay its it to his heart sorrow is better than sad, than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth all right and this is just a quick scripture to you know to you know get in that that mindset with the times we're in okay because we're not supposed to be in mirth all right says uh, that the scriptures say that we will put on our, our sackcloth of, of mourning. Okay. And, um, you know, so it's not a time to be, you know, you know, celebrating and, and this is a, a solemn assembly. Okay. Pretty much what the scripture means is that when you're in the, the mindset of mirth, all right, you're not readying your mind. All right. You're not preparing for nothing. You're relaxed, okay? What does it say in the scriptures? To walk circumspectly, all right? Redeeming the times because the days are evil, okay? So that was just a quick point I wanted to make out before getting into this lesson, all right? And Passover is a day of heavy judgment, you know, a night, <laughs> all right? This is Leviticus 23, in verse 5, it says, In the fourteenth day of the first month, at even is the Lord's Passover. Okay, so 
the first month of the year and the 14th day, which falls on this Sunday, all right, uh, March 5th Eve, okay, and then it'll end uh, the following Sunday, all right, Well, it will begin, it will end the following Monday night. So, the Passover starts um, March 5th Eve to, to Monday Eve, okay? Then it will end, com be complete on that Monday Eve, okay? The following Monday Eve, all right? Because that's how the Sabbath is kept from, from sundown to sundown, all right? <clears throat> so, uh, continuing on in verse 6, it says, And on the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And the Feast of Unleavened Bread, you know, is another name for the Passover. All right. And it's kept, you know, alongside the Passover. It says, Seven days you must eat unleavened bread. All right. And we'll say the reasoning behind that, all right, for another lesson. Okay, so the moon, this is Sirach, uh, 43 and 6. The moon was, you know, is serves a purpose, you know, moon meaning month, okay? And the new moon signifies a, a new month, Okay. But it serves a purpose also for a signs of feast. This is Sirach 43 and verse 6. It says, He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. Okay, so you have different um, types of moons, you know, which are our signs, you know, from Yahweh All right. For example, a blood moon. Okay. Or a you know, certain uh, eclipses, okay, that only happen once, you know, <laughs> once in a uh, night, they don't happen often, all right, uh, this is verse 7, from the moon is a sign of feast, a light that decreases in her perfection, so, you know, going back to Leviticus, you know, it says it's a sign of feast, but in Leviticus, it said, um, you know, the first, uh, the fifth, the fourteenth day of the month. Okay, it's when the Passover is, the first month. So we would know when the new moon was. You know, that's the on also coincides with the Sabbath day. Okay, but fourteen days after. You know, which still falls on a Sabbath day. All right. And and that day being, you know, that moon also being the uh, indicator of a of a feast. OK. Using the moon to to figure out when the high holy day is. All right. Verse this is Leviticus 23 and 7. It says in the first day, ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work. Well, we know holy means separate. Okay. Convocation in the Hebrew means sacred assembly. All right. And that's going to coincide with what we're going to pull next in Deuteronomy. All right. To bring more understanding that this high holy day is a solemn assembly a sacred assembly and especially in the times we're in we should um you know observe it as correctly as possible all right rehearsing the right uh rights uh, rehearsing the righteous acts all right as best as we can You know, we know we can't put, you know, sacrifice lambs and put their blood on, on our, our, our door posts. 
but we can do every uh you know most mostly everything else you know some brothers may have to work you know but they they do what they can you know to to keep it you know as best as they can this is Deuteronomy 16 and 1. It says, observe the month of Abib. All right, that's the first month of the year. And keep the Passover unto the the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. For in the month of Abib, the Lord, thy power, brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. See, that's, you know, really what the Passover is, is there for. All right, to celebrate that exodus. And, and 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 judgment that you know Yahweh Shimei Ashai put on on you know those Egyptians. This is a Deuteronomy jumping down sixteen and verse eight. It says, Six days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly to the Lord thy power." Thou shalt do no work therein. So let's go into that word solemn. It's going to pretty much mean the same thing. Okay. And, and also, you know, another point, you know, which will, I'm going to build another lesson up and go into it, is that, you know, Yahweh Shah's Passover, you know, was, um, also very heavy because after that, you know, that started his persecution. Okay. That started his, his that led to his, his um, crucifixion. Right. That same uh, night was when he was rounded up. All right. So, Saki, let me go back real quick. So, Solomon, the Hebrew going down. It's a sacred fest or a festive meeting. You know, it means sacred. Okay, correlating with that holy convocation. All right. It says to restrain, retain, close up, shut. So it's not to be put on display. All right. It's supposed to be do done in closed doors. All right. It was that uh, that scripture that says many are called but few are chosen. All right, this is only for the elect. All right. And there's another one, you know, in 1 Corinthians. It says, if thou eat of the uh, the cup unworthily, you know. So, you have to be, make sure that you are worthy of taking part of this. All right. Um, and that was pretty much it. I'm going to grab this one last scripture in Exodus. I'm going to get Exodus 20 just to further prove that this, you know, isn't a, a, a Passover party, man. It's just a, you know, it's a, a ceremony. Uh, uh, this feast is, you know, just of a heavy... Come, this is Exodus uh, 20, you know, it's meant for a spiritual uh, conversation, you know, fellowshipping with the, with the brothers, you know, and and performing the, the Passover ceremony, all right, you know, strengthening those, uh, you know, that bond with Yahweh Bashim Yashai, you know, asking for deliverance. All right, I'm praying for his mercy. This is Exodus 20 and 8. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Now, the Sabbath day, you know, the the Passover always, you know, and high holy days always fall on Sabbath days. Okay. And this is in the law that we keep it holy, you know, keep the Sabbath day holy. That's why I said on the first, as we read in Leviticus, says the first day is a holy convocation and then as we read in in Deuteronomy it says the seventh day all right is a, a solemn assembly 
Okay, I mean, because both of those days fall on the Sabbath day, and that is a day of rest. Sabbath, Shabbat, meaning rest. Okay. Um, let me, Saki, let me pull it up because I know. See? I had to go into the, the root word, but there it is. To cease, desist, rest. All right. So it's important that we keep those ordinances. Let's grab one more. Exodus 12 and um, 14. It says, And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord Yahweh throughout your generations ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever so the Israelites are the ones that are supposed to be keeping this feast okay unto their power Yahweh Bashem Yashah is an ordinance you know it's a law okay so Lord willing this lesson was edifying once again the Passover is a solemn assembly all right, until the next time, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rekakwadash. All right, Shalom, Kwam Yasharalo, Wa'abal, Paul.